Hello, I'm Jay, the Mighty Master, the guy that loves video games but hates IGN. And yeah, it's the time for another collection video. This time, I'm going to be showing you my Wii U collection. Now, this is not the biggest collection I own, but um, I still love the Wii U. Uh, the season gets a bad rap because it, it sold very, very poorly. GameCube, not GameCube, um, GamePad was pretty bad controller, but for the good games I had, they were really good. So, uh, not a lot of games to show you, but we're going to get through them. Uh, just like last time with the 3DS and DS collection, um, I'll, I'm gonna show the games in alphabetical order, and then after, I, and then after once I'm done with the ABC order games, we'll do the more expensive games. I'm actually gonna start doing this. I'm gonna for my future collection videos, I'm gonna start doing it in this format. Yeah, so that so that way I'll have it won't be a, a problem to organize it because then if I do it like randomly, um, it 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 gives me trouble organizing and I have to figure out which one goes where. So I think that's what we're gonna do uh, from now on. Is I'm super excited to do this. So that way I can show you my ABC order games which are in this deck, and then after that, um, once we're done with the episode, or we'll do my more like, rare and expensive games. Anyway, let's get started. Um, and by the way, this is not going to be edited like the DS and 3DS collection video was. This is going to be all in one continuous take because I don't have a lot of games for the system. The first game we have is Angry Birds Star Wars. Um, and unfortunately, we're off to a bad start. Not that this game is terrible. I mean, it is a crossover with Star Wars and Angry Birds. Kind of surprising because this came out in 2013 and The Force Awakens was coming out two years later. And But this is still um, not terrible, but... It is pretty disappointing considering the fact that you're kind of right back when this first came out, you're paying like forty dollars for a game you can get on your phone. Don't know why they did that, but they did. Ooh, here we go. One of the worst games I ever played in my life. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival: The Rise of the Machines. You guys probably know where that one comes from. I'm, I'm not gonna start to clip the meme this time because I, it's from the episode, but. Yeah, um, yeah. but yeah, um, this is a terrible party game, um, this is the worst Animal Crossing game I played, and definitely the worst Wii U game I played, um, it, this is one of the worst games I ever played in my life, I'm not even joking, I hate this game, we're not gonna talk about this game. Now, going from, up from bad games to good games, we have Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, this is a really, really fun puzzle game, I, I really enjoyed, sorry, I just want to point out that I actually, I actually have allergies, so, and unfortunately this is the worst of the worst, so if I rub my eye or or I sniff my nose, that's why, because I'm hugely affected by allergies, actually, yeah, again, I am, I am, I am, no, sorry, I have allergies, but I'm just going to film anyway, so I apologize if I'm sniffing or, sorry, I, you know, let's we'll just get through this, I, I apologize if I'm sniffing, but I have allergies, but we're going to get through this, um, Time to Treasure Tracker, great puzzle game, and it's just amazing that Toad got his own game and all, and it has Toad Dad, which actually I think this might be the game that Toad Dad now has changed from all my spin-off characters to Minty's character. We also have, um, now we're getting into the Zelda games, we have Hyrule Warriors, um, really fun hack and try. this is the first, um, cross-up so between, um, Dynasty Warriors and well, one of the first crossover Warriors games that technical core Tech would do. Which so obviously we, we then we get Fire Emblem Warriors, Dragon Quest Heroes, and after that, at um, Persona Five Strikers. Uh, I apologize about that. Um, uh, I, again, allergies are really bad, and I've been infected. So I'm, I'm I don't have COVID. Obviously, I got my COVID test, but I'm so I apologize about allergies. Um. I will pause a lot. If I do pause a lot, I'm sorry. I have allergies, but anyway. Continuing on with the Zelda games, we have The Legend of Zelda, well, Wind Waker HD. Um, really great remake, uh, and probably the best way for me to be introduced to this GameCube classic. Uh, such an amazing game, and the remake is definitely much, much more beautiful looking than um, the than the original. Not that the original was bad. Obviously, the original looked great, but this is even better. But you know, if you know what I'm saying. And speaking of open world games, speaking, okay, this is probably one of my favorite underrated games ever. If you have not played this game, please play this game. That's Lego City Undercover. Or uh, I love this game, and, and this is like, this is a game that did not receive a lot of attention when it first came out. 
when they, and then and they kind of made it world worst when um they they said they they were gonna release this game and on crunches that it can get more more of attention and then people will find out about the which is great until you realize that they charge more than what those it was with this one was usually selling for this one which was different for fifty um. Uh, and then after that, they really stand for 60 so they kind of overpriced, um, which sucks. I mean, I hate companies that do that, but regardless, this is a really great game. And, 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 I, and I can't, I would love to play on Xbox One and Switch. I, I just hope they did, I just wish they did not overprice it. That's all. We're now getting into the Mario games. Um, Mario song up there, so she 2014 Olympic Games. Uh, really fun, um... No, actually, this is not a good game. I, I don't like this game, but it's not. I mean, it's not the worst thing I played. I mean, I, w I will say this: um, this is a game I was. Uh, ugh, this is was a game I was looking forward to. I got my hands on it. Yeah, this is what I had at the time. I, I will accept it. So, not the worst thing I played, yeah, but it is terrible. Well, anyway, we have Mario Kart Eight. Of course, what can I say about this game that hasn't been set? Great game. Um, and the, the anti-gravity mode is so good. Like, it's so unique. It's so, so much fun. Mario Party 10. Uh, unfortunately, this is missing the inserts, unfortunately. You can tell. Um, guy from GameStop, which... No, oh, stupid things. Crap. Um, I wish I think... Uh, I wish this game was great, unfortunately. Um... They they brought they brought they they took all things that that people complained about Mario Party Nine and just tried to make it worse. Like you like this is what like <laughs> this is one of those cases where there's something that they did wrong in Mario Party Nine. They did the exact same thing again just for the sake of doing the exact same game again. So this game sucks. I hate this game because they think you expect them to improve, but they did the opposite for the sake of doing the opposite, just so that they can have a Mario game for the series 20th, I'm sorry, the franchise's 30th anniversary, so, terrible, and speaking of bad Mario games, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, the first time I ever said the words, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash is bad, and yes, it is bad, this game sucks, I hate this game, yeah. Yeah, so, actually I should probably throw it in the floor, but I'm not. All right, continuing on, we have two. The next two games are obviously launch titles for the Wii U. Um, one people may not uh, know that, but that's New Super Mario Bros. U. Um, uh, definitely was well brand considering, but definitely better than the New Super Mario World games. But yeah, this game was pretty bad. It's it's definitely better than New Super Mario Bros. Two. Kind of it's it's kind of like how you know how there's two things that come out at the same time. Like take Pixar for example. Uh, in 2015, Pixar released Inside Out and Good, The Good Dinosaur. Obviously, one of them was great, which was Inside Out. The other, Good Dinosaur, not so much. So, yeah. So now take it back with New Super Mario Bros. 2 and you. Obviously, you was good. 2, not so much. You can obviously tell what, oh, what, what, what they more spent their time working on. And so you can watch as with the Wii U, we have Nintendo Land. Really fun mini game competition. I used to play a lot of this game back in the day. In fact, this is my original copy for my, my papa. Um, my great grandfather bought me a Wii U. So, so yeah, thank you so much to Papa for for for, for, for this. Um, and actually, thank you to Papa for buying me a Wii U. I actually wanted one, and I did get one, and I would have got a PS4. But hey, it's what I had. But it's what I had. I will stick to it. Anyway. Paper Mario Color Splash. Did I say? Mm -hmm. Oh, it has the disc. I know. It's, yeah, it has the disc. So, anyway, Paper Mario. Sorry about that. Paper Mario Color Splash. A lot of people think it's better than Paper Mario. Well, it's very better than Paper Mario Superstar, but it's still not as amazing as something like um, pa uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, or which I which I really like that game. But it's actually pretty rare. But eBay. Um, I, sorry about that. It's eBay, but. Yeah, I'm um, really fun game. Um, uh, from what I played, I cannot wait to finish it. Alright, considering on we have Pikmin three. I I love this game. Me and my brother actually played so much of this game. Um, a lot. I I believe we played much of this game back. I believe back in um the fall of 2020. Um, 
think, I think yeah, that's when we played the, most of this game. Um, might be early this year, but um, I this is the most the pig, I got so much far in this Pikmin until I got to the final boss and I got stuck. I got stuck to the point that I honestly just did not come back to it. Which actually, I, well, actually, I did. In that it's best that you play for um, thirty days. Um, I I cannot get. I had to go over thirty days, but but thank you. There's no time limit. This might be my favorite Pikmin because it's so accessible. Oh, but yeah. I'm sorry about the but I love, love this game. Well, I I can't wait to beat this game, but I just need to get part that get past that super part. I don't think I will, but because the pick game is too hard, super hard. But hopefully I will. So um, there were two Pokemon games on the Wii U. Uh, one of them was Digital. The other one was Pokemon Tournament, which is a really great fighting game. This was made. By um, the developers of Tekken, um, uh, so obviously you can tell this game plays a lot like Tekken. Actually, there's a crossover with Tekken. Uh, it's complete. Wait, wait, yeah, it is complete. But yeah, obviously this is a crossover with Tekken. Really, really, really fun game. Um, um, I do. There's. I do have one problem with this game. Um, uh, your main companion. I think her name's Nia. She is one of the most annoying. That things and and one of the only companions that never get ever is it? You can pass it. No, it's not, it's not the back. But anyway, um, yeah, she is such super annoying. I cannot stand her. Uh, I wish, I wish, I wish they would have made her more more cheerful. But she constantly she's trying to cheer you on when in actuality she's acting like Alia from Mega Man X Five. Well, on, but unlike Alia, you, know, you can actually turn her off. So basically, they kind of did what. They kind of did what um, Sonic Forces did, uh, what, uh, except with to where in, so in Sonic Forces you can turn off the navigator thingy and, and just play, play on your own. So that way they that so, okay, it was in make certainly Mega Man X Five. The Poker Tournament had it, you could turn it off. Uh, Persona Five had it where you cannot turn it off. I cannot believe it. But Sonic Forces had it where you can turn it off. I mean, what's going on, Sega and Nintendo? Oh, and Capcom as well. What's going on with these stupid navigators telling us what to do? Like, I we just wanted to play our games normally. Why do we have these having these stupid navigators telling us what to do and where to go? I mean, that makes the games more fun. Like, why why can't it be like why can't it be like um uh, what's that game I'm thinking of? Oh, damn it! Fuck! Oh, why can't it be? He like uh, Zelda, an old a classic Zelda. Like, why can we? Why can't it be like Tales of Exilia? Like Tales of Exilia, well, they it does, they did tell you where where you they said where you need to go. Um, at least at least they don't bother too much about it. Like, I, why can't it be like Tales of Exilia? That is, oh my god, that's such an amazing game. Please play that game if you haven't. All right, continuing on, we uh, we have um, Shantae Half Dream Hero. This was the first Shantae game I played. Um, I wish I played um, Pirates Curse, and it and it's not as expensive as the the game by Color Game, which is super rare and super expensive. Wish I owned that completed box, but I never own it because it's how rare it is. Like it is the rarest game in the Game Boy line. And, but anyway, um, yeah, this is a really fun. Um, yeah, this is a really fun um, game. I am playing much of it, but I do hope to play more. Right. Anyway, we have, um, of course, this is an amazing game right here, Splatoon. I might be able to say this is the best game on Wii U, and I definitely see why it is definitely an original experience. You know, this is the console has to offer. Her, but yeah, I love this game. And the story mode is really great, but yeah. Love this game. I don't need to say much about it. Please play this game. Alright, I'm actually, to save some time, I'm actually, these two are actually related, so I'm actually going to show them at the same time. That's Star Fox Guard and Star Fox Zero. Um, these two games are together. Um, they obviously came at the same time and they're connected. Um, obviously part of the Star Fox series. Um, uh, you, Star Fox Zero would have been, is the more, is the better, is obviously the more you, the real deal, while, Star Wars because of the more so many, uh, more so DLC game. Well, be it or not, the DLC game actually turned out to be better than, than the actual big space on. Can't believe that's true. 
Uh, next up, we have probably, probably probably my favorite game on Wii. Oh, it's my yeah, probably my favorite game on Wii U. That's Super Mario Maker. Um, love this game. Basically, basically this game, um, uh, you get to um, you get to build your own Mario levels. How fun can you get? Yeah, I love this game. And amazing game. You have Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. Three, Mario World, and then Mario Bros. U. And then, and then after that, um, in Mario Maker Two, they added um, Super Mario World. Uh, this is Mario Three D World. Unfortunately, um, this game they they did shut down the online, so I haven't put, I probably won't play this again. But it's really nice to have it. I wonder what the, what the price will be on this one. And of course, we have the my of course we have Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Um, you know, um, this is not my favorite Super Smash Bros. Like. My favorite Super Smash Bros. is Super Smash Bros. I purchased with the Grayer, but my favorite Super Smash Bros. is Super Smash Bros. A Melee. They, they, and then it's actually my sixth, one of my favorite game. It's one of my top ten favorite games of all time. But yeah, I love this game. And um, and um, I, I do love this game, but I, I think Ultimate is better. There, there. It's definitely be worse than Ultimate. But Ultimate is better than this game, but this game was definitely better than Brawl and 64, and also the 3DS version. And lastly, for the ABC Order games, I just got this one recently, it's Yoshi's Roy World. Really fun game, um, you, it's, it's so, this is such an adorable game. Unfortunately, I, I if I had the Amiibos, uh, I would have, it would have been even more fun, but unfortunately, I sold my Amiibos. I, I had to sell my Amiibos because I, I did not have room for them anymore, so. If I do see Meebles again for a good price, I'll see, I'll sell, and then I'll, I'll sell, I'll make a lot again after that, I make my money back. So, to end off the video, we have, um, now, what, okay, let's do my more expensive, these are my more expensive games, I know, um, and I'll tell you why I found them, uh, if they're good or not, I don't think most of them are, but, but, yeah, um, these are my more expensive games I own, my more rare games, um, I was, so let's start with this one. This is actually my this is actually my second favorite um game on the Wii on the on the Wii U and I cannot wait this game actually it's climbed up in price and that's Wii Party U. I love this game. I love Wii Party. It's basically it's basically like it's basically like a new, a, new, a much better the older Mario Party is except better. They're way more fun uh, than Mario Party A Nine, and uh, this one however is even more better. And even more fun, but unfortunately, this game is really crammed up in price. Um, this game, I believe, goes for like around sixty to eighty. I believe I, I am not sure, but the, I don't I don't remember how much it goes for now. But I could tell the last time I checked, it was going for sixty to eighty. So yeah. All right, three more games here. Um, we have this one. I did not check the price, which is why it's not in the more the bottom of the side that's the Legend Solo Tri Princess H D. This game is really climbed up in price because and the reason why this game is rare is because um this game also came out uh you can actually play the Wii version on the Wii U. So there's actually no point to release this game. So uh, that's because of this game's all very poorly, which is why it's super hard to come by. Hey? But yeah, um Tri Princess is a really uh, good, gr good game, great game. It's actually the first Zelda game I played. Um, but yeah, this is a remake. Um, and I, it's, it's not like it's expensive as something like the GameCube version. The GameCube version is super rare, super hard to come by. And I guess they're celebrating the anniversary of the game. But what ended up happening is that they actually drove the price of this this game this version on the Wii, uh, the GameCube version. I can't believe it. Anyway. Getting down to the here, we have the last two games are actually part of the Mario universe. Kind of surprising as one of the games in Mario first actually most exclusive for you game I own. That's but anyway. So anyway, uh, Mario Sonic and Mario 16 will be games. Better than Soshi, but still not great. I mean, the fact that you have to use you have to use your me um as the, ca the main character really fucking sucks. I, this is not a good game, but unfortunately this game is pretty rare. Um, I got I I actually put, got this game the day it came out, so, so, so I, I actually saved the one bit because it has a, it wants to go for it now. Um, I believe a completed box copy of this game usually goes like around. Um, it usually oh it goes like around eighty to hundred. So yeah, this is actually pretty rare. Terrible game. Uh, 
pretty mediocre game, but I'm very glad I got it back then. And I guess this is going to be the last Wii U game I own this is for the video, but yes, uh, I actually got, this is actually one of the first Wii U games I own, and I cannot believe this game really shot up in price. I really can't believe it, but this is my most expensive Wii U game I own. Uh, not the best game to add, like, you know. Hang on. Best game ever? I don't think so. This is not the... the uh, it, it's not even worthy of, uh, of being called the best game ever. It, it's not. But anyway, yeah, this is basically a hundred... This game goes for like 120 to 140 bucks if you want to get this one. Uh, very hard to come by. Very glad I have this game. And I even got I got it back. I got it back at Kmart before they closed. But yeah, I was super happy I have this game. This is one of the more like I got it back at then and and like I got it back when it first came out. Like and, and unfortunately this game is pretty bad. But I'm very good I had this game because now this game is worth a good amount of money now. So very good I have it. And guys, that is going to do it for my Wii U collection. And so, um, of course, before I, of course, I'll end with the games I'm still looking for. I still want to get um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Um, and I'm actually make this quick. Um, I still want to get. Sorry about that. Um, I still, I do would like to get um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Um, Devil Stirred, if anybody has that game, and also Wii Sports Club. Um, so, and also Hello Kitty Cruises as well. So. If anybody has um, Tokyo Watch Sessions, um, Xenoblade X, actually I'm still missing that one, um, Wii Sports Club, Hell Kitty Cruisers, Errors, and what's the other one? Uh, Devil Stirred. Those are the ones I'm still after and we'll have to get my hands on before they get even more expensive. So if anybody has those games, please let me know. And, oh, I would love to get my hands on them. And I will start letting you guys know on some games I'm still missing that I still want to get my hands on. So, so anyway, that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm JJ the Mighty Mess. I, I do apologize for my allergies, but hopeful, I do hope that um, I will get better uh, and start be able to record my, start be able to write reviews on my Instagram and eventually doing the Mario Luigi Marathon that I planned on doing for you guys. I did, I'm still planning on it, it's just I am sick at the moment. I am not going to be able to do it. But anyway, hopefully I'll get better. Thank, thanks for sticking with me. I'm JJ the Mighty Mess. We're together. I'm both for the games, but hates IGN.